four different animal prints. Four different fits. One, two, three, four of us. Only 24 hours. In this episode, Neighbor Take On Animal Print Inspired Fits. <laughs> if you haven't already, make sure to subscribe, hit the notification bell. Ding a ling, we're here. Good morning. And give this video a like if you like animal print. Subscribe! Girl, if you didn't subscribe after that, Oh, hello. <laughs> I'm so excited. You guys know I am a little animal and I love snake print bags. I walked into Topshop and the first thing I see is literally this. And a whole table of snake prints. One time Faith wore this like double red like zebra print fit. So I feel like she's gonna probably do that. I'm gonna be making a tracksuit with red and black zebra print on it. I'm gonna be painting it. as my my print for this challenge is cheetah. Wow. I basically want to do like a huge mix of animal prints. What I was thinking of doing is a really cute cheetah inspired eyeshadow look. I'm on my way to Brick Lane now and I'm hoping I'm gonna find a killer animal print piece. Maybe cheetah, maybe snake, maybe giraffe, maybe cow. There's shark. Shark. Yeah, I need to get the materials. So right now I'm on the bus on the way to Cast Art. It's an art store in Angel. We are here. We have arrived at I don't know why I made it sound like a WWE wrestling star, but yeah, we're here. Look at all the stuff they have here. They got these paints locked up. They've done a crime. I've never done an animal print eyeshadow before. I just wanted to show how you guys can do animal prints subtly and make them cute with your eyeshadow look. I don't know how this is gonna turn out, mama, to be honest. I think I'm gonna go to Attica because it's a really, really big vintage store. There's literally hella animal print here. This is like an animal print rail. I just went on Instagram and looked up hashtag cheetah eyeshadow and there's just, what? Wait, hold up. Is that freaking hot Cheetos? <gasps> I'm dead! Cheetos brand cheese flavored snacks presents Chester Cheetah. She clearly knows what's up. Okay, so I pretty much walked into Topshop and the first thing I see is snake print bags right in the front. This one is so, so cute. No, no, no. I saw this one and this is like the first one I seen. And it's this orange one with like gold and stuff like that. Like how fire is that? And they have it in other colors. I know for typical eyeshadow looks, eyeliners at the end, but for this eyeshadow look, I'm gonna be doing the eyeliner first. Y'all are like, just trust me. I am about to try on these and try and make some fits. Oh my god, there's so, there's, oh my god. There is so many. This top is a no. This one, more snake. You don't have to make that eyeliner perfect because we're gonna go and like smudge it out. So we got the spray paints. I'm purchasing my stuff. I'm gonna see you guys at Maddie's. So the shirt is really not that bad. But these trousers. <laughs> I'm really struggling, really struggling. Now that the eyeliner is done, I'm gonna be starting with the eyeshadow. I'm gonna be using the Urban Decay Naked Reloaded Palette. This bag is also snake, so fire, green. This one, oh my god, there's so many. Oh wait, this one's really cute. That's so cute. This top isn't so bad. It's not horrific, but it's not cute. Before we start doing the eyeshadow, I'm gonna be taking some translucent powder. What this does is catch any excess fallout from the eyeshadow so it doesn't ruin your foundation base. <coughs> I'm really struggling. I'm really, really struggling right now. Oh my god. That one's so cute. First, I'm gonna take this dark brown and just pack it right over the eyeliner. Vision shopping is not easy when you have an idea in your head, so we're gonna leave those on the no thanks rail. <sighs> this is a Morphe palette that I have and I'm just gonna be using the black here. So I'm leaving Attica now because that was not successful. I am here with the one and only Maddie Villain. 
We are gonna be customizing my DIY animal print fit. We got all black base to start with, and then I wanna put zebra print like all over it mm -hmm. in red. Right now, this envelope with my name on it is still filled with cash because I haven't spent anything. I was so stressed. Yay, I might not have a freaking fit, which is great. Awesome, love that for me. There's even more. So many snake bags. Snake, snake, snake. Ooh, snake. Snake. I'm gonna do a try on of all of these bags. Found another vintage place. I literally walked in and walked out because there was no animal print. Now we're just gonna blend the black and brown together. I'm kind of thinking of doing like a two piece set and then some really high snake print boots. So now I'm just adding the dark brown to the lower lash line. Okay, I'm looking for serotonin. We're a serotonin vintage. We have to cut out the slot. We bring in zebra bag. Yeah. Uh, we got Maddie doing the animal print. We have finished all the stencils. Now we're ready to start spray painting. Yeah. So this jacket is actually really fire. There's like snake print on it. I have these uh, Roberto Cavalli jeans on. I don't know. This doesn't feel like the winning fit, you know? Now that the eyeshadow is done, I'm just going to be adding random cheetah prints all throughout my eye with a Rimmel Lip Art glitter. Basically, got it wherever. There's no specific order. This whole eyelid is like the canvas. Right now, I'm walking to Beyond Retro. I really thought I would go to the vintage shops and create a whole fit, all these different animal prints, super cohesive and nice looking. This young female, she needs to hunt to survive, but there's a problem. Well, these are a bit too granified for me. I think I'm a quit. I think I'm a quit. I think I give up. I am finding this so hard today, wow. Just give me like a cute animal print skirt somewhere. I just found snake earrings and a snake scrunchie and I was looking for one and I found one. I'm gonna be going in with my liquid eyeliner and I'm gonna be tracing around the gold. Ooh, that's fire. Struggling. A new discovery, I just found this. It is literally a snake like chain top. So far, I've literally found two animal print tops, matching earrings. I'm looking for like an animal print skirt, but I'm struggling to say the least. And this scrunchie. This is how the eyes came out. Not that bad for the first try. I've been looking like the Mona Lisa and shit. Oh yeah. Oh my God, she's killing it. That's what we <laughs> like to see. <laughs> I've been doing a lot of DIYing recently in the episodes, and it's definitely starting to show. So I'm gonna buy this stuff, and hopefully, I'm under budget. This challenge is so hard right now. This is actually really hard, and trying to vintage shop this stuff I thought would be way easier, but it's obviously not. I still haven't bought anything. The female performs an elaborate dance. That's my frustration dance. Oh, nice. Ooh, very nice. Very nice. Lovely little print in it. Very lovely little print in it. Oh, I love that. Finally, it looks as though her gamble has paid off. It's important for such a delicate and finely tuned animal that the lighting and the setting is just right. And now, it is. She overcame extraordinary odds. I did it. I did it. I left. I got something. I left a shop with something. Finally. Fire. These are the almost finished products. Me and Maddie have been having so much fun. Okay, I did that. The bag is secure. Don't play me. I could really steal this dub. Comment down below on how you guys would style snake print and subscribe for my Ratchet 5 Minute YouTube tutorials. Stay tuned, see what I do, and I'll see you guys on Judgment Day. And bye, see you on Judgment Day. The cheetahs on the loose. Wow. We're back in the studio with Izzy Bossy from Bossy London. Hey, I'm Izzy from Bossy London. I'm a DJ and a creative director. Oh, good. Ah! Ah! She's ready. I'm ready. Yeah, I'm ready. Yeah. It's a hot girl summer. I'm here today to judge the girls in their animal print fit. Do you like the full animal print look? Yeah. 
And I like mixing prints as well, because rules are there to be broken. Exactly. Oh. I'm really excited to see what you girls are going to come out with. So let's have Angel first. Bye. Oh, okay. Yes, so cute. cute. Ooh, she rich, rich. So for my prints, I chose snake. I didn't want to go like all snake because then I feel like that's just like, like, <laughs> snake, <laughs> like snake overload. So I got this bag, chain top with these matching earrings. Angel was giving me a whole fantasy going on. She looked like a rejected Kardashian from Santi Ali. <laughs> Snake boots are just like iconic. And then for this print two piece set, if you look at it from afar, it kind of replicates like the print of like the under part of the snake. I like, like how choppy. you thought about that. I like how you match the top and the earring. And I think the face snake is cute. My favorite thing is this thing because it just is fun to play with. But it made me feel like a cat and we like put a string over a cat's head and like. My favorite thing about the fit is the boots, like those are so cute. I think if Angel had changed her bag to a little mini purse, I just think it would have tied it all together really, really, really well. So stunning and super. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> but I love to see like this high fashion, everyday cash, little mix. Little mix? Maybe. Maybe. It... <laughs> uh -uh. <laughs> it was just a whole lot of naked. Thank you for your outfit. Can I have Faith next, please? Well done, Ainge. Thanks. Oh, oh, oh! <laughs> show me light, show me better days. I keep on spending, I need to fucking save. My mind is on, it's on another wave. Thinking all these thoughts and they possess my head for days. It's funny how we never change. True art is probably getting rich from counting all this little change. Grow until I get a ring, rise until I light a wave. Get all like my lingo. Show me light, show me brighter days. Oh! This is DIY. Wait, for real? Mm -hmm. Faith cannot even say that she's not good at DIY anymore after that outfit. I spray painted it with stencils, zebra print, all over. On the back, it's nothing except for on this side. And then the hood is all printed too. <gasps> so hey. cool. Go off, Faith. Go off. <laughs> it's like a tomboyish but cutesy fit. And I feel like if you go in UV light, you're gonna be lit. Definitely. Yeah. But I'm lit regardless. <laughs> okay. <laughs> I like the like thought process of it. The blank here and then the blank on the back. Those boots are everything too. I love that she like painted them on. I am so proud of Faye for like customizing and doing DIY. Yes, it's red and black, but you put some pink in there. Honestly, it was an accident, but then I wasn't mad at it. I still put red and black in my outfit, even though zebras are black and red. Oop. In my book, they are. It is so original, so one of a kind, and I think it's so cool. Thank you so much for your fit, Faith. I'm loving it. Next up, can we have Jasmine? Yes. Clash prints. Two of my favorite things to clash is like cheetah print and plaid. Cheetah print and plaid? Uh huh. I'm confused and I'm scared. The top is cheetah print, and then I did like cheetah print skirt, and then the super bright green tiger print jacket, and then a snake skin bag. This is a biodegradable hat, and then these are fake leather shoes. I love that biodegradable bucket hat. I just wanted to take it off her head and plant it into the ground. I love how you like mixed all the patterns together, like colors and patterns. I think this is so cute. I don't even understand why I liked it so much, because the color coordination was not on. Color coordination was on zero. And the vegan docs are a nice touch, because we know you love your docs and we know you love your veganism, so. Literally. <laughs> I'm obsessed with this jacket. I love the snake bag. That actually would have been cute with my yeah. outfit. Yeah. Oh, and maybe yeah. even this. Would... No. Yes, that would go good with the bucket hat. But it's like not my style, though. <laughs> <laughs> 
I see her coming out of her comfort zone bit by bit. All the pieces in your fits are like stuff that you would actually wear, but the dub isn't yours. <laughs> Good job, Jazz. Thank you for bringing all this color and vibe. Last but not least, let's have Esme. Esme. Did you just say your own name? Esme. Esme. <laughs> <laughs> Esme's fit. I thought it was super cute, but it was kind of like unusual for her to come out in something so like boring. I didn't want to do too much with the animal print because my style was just very cash, baggy, and cute crop top. So that's exactly what I did. Esme, she doesn't like animal print. Esme only ever wears strawberries, cherries, or flowers. These shoes are vegan. They look like popcorn. They do. Yeah. You don't. No! They were popcorn, and I do like popcorn. I really like how you've worn baggy trousers with a cute tight top and match like the clips and the eyeshadow with the top. I think Esme's outfit is like the most casual, wearable one. My favorite part is the eyeshadow though, obviously. It kind of reminds me of the cow print a little bit from Doja. <gasps> Oops. Like your outfits, people that were like, yeah, I, I could mess with some animal print, but like not too crazy. Just a, just a little sprinkle, just a just little. A I think Esme could have elevated the whole fit if she'd bought like white platform and did like the same pattern on the shoe. You like actually wore like a full print top and you did your makeup to match it, which is really cute. But I miss the crazy Esme. She needs to come back. Never, ever. Let's never do this again. <laughs> Thank you so much, girls. Esme, I love the eyeshadow, that look. I'm copying it, sorry. Angel, I love like the snakeskin vibe, especially those boots, they just bang. Faith, I love how you like DIY'd everything. I feel like you've put a lot of time and effort into it. And Jasmine, I just love how you mix everything together and the bucket hat is just sick. So the winner is... Oh, 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 oh. Faith! Yeah! Comment down below if you guys want my snake print bag. Wow. Make sure you guys subscribe, hit the notification bell if you haven't already, and give us a big thumbs up if you like animal print. I see you guys in the comments talking about, Faith, don't do black and red, it's boring. Faith, I love you, but don't do black and red. I'm gonna do black and red until I don't wanna do black and red anymore because this is what I like right now, and if I did do black and red, it wouldn't be me. So y'all gonna have to deal with it.